Yeah. Hero. 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 Andrew's my hero. <laughs> Heroic barbell. Time to get this weight, yo, it's heavy, can't you tell? Heroic barbell. Time to get this weight, yo, it's heavy, can't you tell? Heroic barbell. Time to get this weight, yo, it's heavy, can't you tell? Hey guys, Andrew here with Heroic Barbell. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of how I hit three all-time PRs while on linear progression after taking two months off due to the virus. On March 14th this year, I performed what I didn't know at the time would be my last workout for two months. My PRs at this time were a 515 squat, a 575 deadlift, a 315 bench for five reps, and a 230 overhead press for five sets of three. Quarantine started the very next week. All the gyms were closed, and I didn't have a home gym at the time. No one knew how long quarantine was going to last. I was praying it would only be a couple of weeks. Slowly but surely, I realized that that was not going to be the case. Of course, like the 16 million other Americans who were in the same position as I was, I thought to myself, I'm going to lose a ton of progress. I bet it's going to take me a year to get back my gains. I resumed training on May 9th. I didn't have a power rack yet, so all I could do was deadlift and overhead press, but I was happy to do what I could. I was able to deadlift 465 and overhead press 215. A couple weeks later, I had my power rack and I squatted 405 and bench pressed 295. So I kept training, grinding, and doing what I knew I was supposed to be doing. Then one day, a couple weeks ago, I realized I'm about to PR my bench press, my deadlift, and my overhead press. In the last three weeks, I've deadlifted 505 for two sets of five, I've bench pressed 315 for two sets of five, and I overhead pressed 240 for two sets of five. Let's take a look at the videos of those PRs. After quarantine. So what did my programming look like during this time? Well, I did a linear progression, which means that I added weight to the bar every single workout, and I worked out three days a week, usually Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The weight jump started at about 20 pounds, and I slowly dwindled my way down to about five pounds, uh, jumping from workout to workout. And each, each day, I did deadlift for two sets of five, then overhead press for two sets of five, then squat for two sets of five, and finally bench press for two sets of five. Some of you may be asking at this point, why didn't your squat PR like everything else? The answer to which is, I don't know, but I'm squatting in the low 400s for sets and reps at this point, which is still a big improvement over where I've started on May 9th. During quarantine, a lot of the experts were saying that if you stay active during quarantine, as in do dumbbell work and conditioning and bodyweight exercise, that you're less likely to lose your gains. And a lot of them also said that if you do a linear progression uh, when you come back to barbell training, that you will more than likely PR. Uh, on your lifts, not just, you know, not just LPPRs, but all-time PRs. 
Um, the thing is, I didn't do any working out of any kind during quarantine. I tried a couple times, and I'm ashamed to say that I didn't have the discipline to do it. Uh, that being said, I'm quite amazed that I was still able to PR my lifts in spite of that. And I'm proud of that. So here's the moral of the story. Maybe you're a lifter who's getting back into things after quarantine. And you think, I've lost way too many gains. Or, you know, maybe you think you've lost up to a year's worth of hard work. Uh, that all went to nothing because of the quarantine. Or maybe you're so demotivated by these things that you don't really want to get back into lifting now. I'm here to tell you, don't wait. Get back into it now. Who knows? You may just come back stronger than you were before. Thanks for watching. Now go make the world a better place.